Welcome to MathsMaster.org. Still can't add and subtract fractions with different denominators? That's okay. Try this. The traditional method of adding and subtracting fractions, where you make the denominators the same by finding equivalent fractions, that's okay if you understand it. And I'd strongly encourage you to try and understand it, because once you do, it gives you a really good sort of understanding of how it all works. But if you can't understand that method, you just don't get it. Fortunately, there is a simple other method that I can teach you. It's just a procedure, set of steps that you have to follow, um, and it works every time. And that's what this video is about. So let's have a look at adding fractions using this method. If we've got two thirds add three tenths, the first thing you do is you draw yourself a two by two square like I've got here. The next thing you do is that you split your first fraction up. So I've got two thirds, I take the two and the three, split them up and I write them above the squares as I've done here. The second fraction is three tenths. So I split that up, I put the three beside the top left square and the ten down beside the bottom left square, as you can see. We're adding fractions, so I want you to put a big add sign in the top left square. Then we fill in the square by multiplying all the numbers which are above and to the side of it. So for example, this 9 comes from doing 3 times 3. This 20 comes from doing the 2 times the 10. And this 30 comes from doing 3 times the 10. OK, the next step is to draw the box that you can see I've done in a red dashed line here. So draw the red dashed line box around those numbers as you can see here. And then you simply just do the sum that you see in that box. So in this case I've got 20 add 9. That's 29 and that's actually the numerator, the top number in the fraction of your answer. So 20 add 9 is 29, so I put the 29 in the numerator, the top number of the answer. The denominator of the answer, the bottom number, is just the other number that's left outside of that red box, the 30. So the denominator is 30. So 2 thirds add 3 tenths is 29 thirtieths. Let's have a look at how this method works when you're subtracting fractions. So in this case, 5 sixths take away 2 thirds. Draw your 2 by 2 square again and split the fraction, the first fraction up and write it along the top. So split the 5 and the 6 up, as you can see here. And then take the second fraction, the 2 thirds, split the 2 and 3 up and write them beside the square, as you can see there. We're subtracting fractions this time, so in the top left box you draw a big subtract sign. Then we fill in the square by doing the multiplications. So 2 times 6 is 12, 5 times 3 is 15, and 6 times 3 is 18. Draw your red box around the three squares, as you can see here, and then do the sum that you find. So, 15 subtract 12 is 3. So, in your answer, put a number 3 for the numerator, the top number. The number outside of the red box, the 18, is the denominator in the answer, the bottom number. So, 5 sixths take away 2 thirds is 3 eighteenths. Of course, the question might say cancel down your fraction or write it in its simplest terms, and 3 eighteenths is the same as 1 sixth. If you're unsure about cancelling down fractions, make sure you do watch the video on that. 
If you find the traditional approach for adding and subtracting fractions hard, then I hope that you've now found this other method easier to pick up. And I hope that you can go forward now, get some lots of practice in, and use this method to accurately add and subtract fractions with different denominators in the future. If you want to see some more great math videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.